Morning, guys. I'm going to go work on a drainage ditch uh, this morning and uh, got the little 304 warmed up and getting ready to load it on the trailer. Got to load a couple of other things up and take with me. With got to take it with me. All right, so here's the 304 and what I need to take. I need to get this. Uh, uh, wrist to twist ditching bucket here with a smooth edge and take it and I'm going to get a two foot bucket to take. I got to do a little bit of clearing to get the machine in there. And it's got a three foot on it now so we'll go ahead and change it out. I'm going to load it up on the tilt deck trailer behind the Ford F-350 and ride down the road for a mile or two. We've changed bucket coupler on it. Uh, it's pretty simple to do. You can actually do it through the computer over here. And, uh, we have a hotkey for it, and then you have a button that says unlock the wedge, and that does the back of the coupler. This would be the front of the coupler. So you hit that, and you get a buzzer, and a little wedge up there will move, and then you have to unlock the front. I'll zoom in a little bit, and we'll hit unlock front. And that little piece up there gets out of your way so you can take the bucket off. And that's all there is to it. So once you do that, you pretty much just pick up the other bucket. You don't have to unlock the front wedge. It's spring-loaded so you can just snap it on. Then you just hit the lock wedge and lock the new bucket on and go to work. Really simple. Good job, cat. All right, we got him loaded up. Just need to throw a, a chain or a binder on, a chain and a binder on there. Uh, I got my wrist to twist bucket in the back on in the on the truck, and I don't know why I can't talk this morning. Anyway, that's beside the point. All right, we'll see you at the job. We're at the job, and the the object of this is. This culvert going under this road right here, uh, it's not draining good to the creek and it's just, and it's causing a marshland here on this guy's property. So this is a, a, in a pasture field. But there was all these little alder trees and stuff growed up right here. So I had to knock a few of those down to get the machine in. And I gotta just cut a ditch over to the creek, which is, uh, here's a whole apple tree that fell down and we'll have to move it, but the creek is just on the other side of these trees over here, so, uh, but I'm probably going to go, here's a big tree, I want to go around it, I ain't going to mess with it. So I'll move this old apple tree, it's already fallen over, and we will take my ditch through there. Uh, I don't have my GoPro with me right now, but I'll pick it up at lunchtime and bring it down and get a little footage on the excavator. So I got my clearing done and I went and got my GoPro at lunchtime. So now I'm starting to ditch over to the creek. Got a little low place over here I'm gonna put the dirt in. Spread it out. Just a Saturday project.
all right so we got our ditch dug nice little contoured v ditch all the way to the creek so that ought to let this culvert drain on out instead of saturating this land and causing a marsh i uh, gotta finish spreading out my uh spoils here and get them smoothed up get it looking like something it's kind of soft it's rather soft over here but i believe i can get it done work my way out back to hard ground all right All right, we got that side of the road done and got it all smoothed up, looking pretty good. And water's draining down the ditch to the creek. So we got one other little project over here. It has to do with the same pipe, but it's uh, partially stopped up over here and the leaves built up in front of it and the ditches are full, typical maintenance issues with culvert pipes. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, clean this side out too so it can drain, this side of the road can drain. So stick around for that.
need to invent a remote control dump truck so I can sit in an excavator and back it up to myself. I guess I better take this load of mud and find somewhere to dump it. Getting, yep, we're sitting on the overloads pretty stout. All right, off we go. Well, I got this ditch done down beside this road right here, down to the culvert, and then back towards the main road. Uh, there's, there's some water standing right here because there's a little bit of dirt up inside that culvert pipe. I need to get a shovel and clean it out. But other than that, I believe this job is done. So we can move on to the next thing, whatever that may be. Y'all have a good evening and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.